Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to trace an image in MonuCAD. I'm measuring the carving that's on the opposite side so I can kind of get a correct size. And I've already downloaded the image they want, which is a beaver trap. You need a JPEG, not PNG, not JPEG, you need a JPEG. So here I'm going to change the line color. That way we can see what we're tracing. So here I am using arcs and lines to trace my image. Um, we're just going to trace it very simply using the SS command, which is Windows Stretch, to smooth out my arcs, um, smooth out where the arcs and lines meet. And this is not a very big image, so I'm not going to add a whole lot of detail into it. But the bigger the image, the more detail that you can get. And right there I just tested out a V-line size. Uh, we would normally use 0.1 or 0.09, which is about 330 seconds of an inch. Just to see how much detail I can really go for. So we're still just tracing out a simple image. I kind of like to think of it as a coloring page. Just black and white lines. And you're going to see in a little bit I go back and actually change the line color because I realized that green shows up a lot better on camera. So we're still testing that out. And here I'm just object breaking OB. Breaking my lines where there won't be any. Fixing some lines so that it shows up right. And I'm going to window mirror, which is WI the opposite side because it's almost the exact same on the other side and there's really no reason to um, just redraw the whole other side so and as you can see here green shows up a lot better so I'll try to use green in future videos and here I'm just deleting pieces so it doesn't look so symmetrical Right here, I'm going to change my line color so that we can see it nice and clear, which is WG. So I'm just checking everything, making sure I got everything. I'm going to twist this little piece a little bit so that it's not, again, so symmetrical to the other side. All right, now we're going to use A3SA. And that's going to give you your V-line. So what you do is you type A3SA. You click on your line that you want your V-line to be on. Then you type in the size you want. And if you watch in the bottom left corner, you'll see size being typed in. And we normally use, like I said, 0.1 or 0.09. After you type your size in, you hit enter. And then you click on the side that you want your V-line to go on and then you'll have your feline size to the size that you want. So now I'm just tracing the chain and I'm going to leave the chain sunk just because it's so small. There's really no point in trying to frost that off. If it was bigger, you definitely could, but we're just going to leave it all nice and sunk. So here we're going to do the same thing, A3SA. And I'm going to use window image to get my chain pieces the same on both sides. So here I'm doing window image on that bottom part. And I snap center SN, that arc on the side. And that's going to give you the center point of the diameter of that arc. Then I'm going to move point and near point to match up those lines. And then window image again. I think I messed up there. Okay, so right here we're going to snap middle to the top and bottom. That's the easiest. And then we're going to window image near point that bottom point and near point that top point. And now you're just going to move point and near point to those pieces. So I hope this makes sense. So now I'm window copying. 
and that way I won't have to redraw each and every chain. So I'm going to draw the chain that's kind of angled now. Uh, same thing, A3SA, drawing my arcs. And then after I get it drawn, I will A3SA, pick my V-line size, just fixing it right here. Okay, now pick my V-line size, put that on there. I'm going to fix where the points line up. I use um, RM, which is trim, or fillet, or fillet, however you pronounce it, which is FL. And I'm going to copy that one too. Now here I'm going to make components out of both of these. Just changing the line color here. And it's just easier to make them into components and then move them where you want to. And I name components like this Trash 1 and Trash 2 just because I'll get rid of them later. I'll never use them again most likely. And then you type CL and that's going to bring up the component list you have. And I'm going to push Trash 1 and Trash 2 on my screen. And erase those. So here I'm just duplicating them and I'm going to move this one and if you hold down control while you're moving your component around you can rotate your component. Just do the same thing on that. Hold down control and rotate. So now we're just going to copy these. That way we have a bunch of them. And same thing, move it around. Hold down control to rotate. You can hold down Alt to change your size, but if you change your size, you will change your V-line size also. So if you need to change your size, you will have to go back in and redo your V-lines. So right here, I'm going to explode it, and then SS, which is window stretch, and pull my chain down so it'll match better. I'm doing the same thing here, SS window stretch, so that I can match that chain a little better in size, but trying not to change my V-line. But I do wind up going back and fixing a couple of V-lines. You'll see that after we explode all the little components. So right here, I wind up redrawing this piece again. I should have just copied the one at the top because it's almost exactly the same. So. Work smarter, not harder, people. And here I'm fixing a little bit, but I'm also going to use the A3SA and LISA for lines. And I just move those out a little bit to match the chain piece. And match them back up. I'm just going to pull that one down a little bit so that I can connect that chain piece on the bottom. And it'll be one long V line. And here I'm just changing the color. And I've erased my image in the background. So now we have just our line art. I'm just double checking that it lines up from top to bottom, just about the same size. Now we're going to start outlining it. So we're using A3SA and LISA. LISA is the same exact way for lines. You type LISA, you click your line, you type in your line size that you want, you hit enter, and then you click. Now once you have that line size in, you do not have to type it in anymore. You can hit LISA or A3SA, click your line, and then click it again, and it'll give you that same exact line size that you put in there. If you need to change your line size, you'll have to click your line, type in the line size, hit enter, and then click on the side that you want the V-line to go. So here I'm just object breaking and filleting or fillet, however you call it and connecting all my pieces. Uh, also using trim, which is RM. And again right here, we're not gonna outline that whole right side again. So I'm just gonna delete those pieces. Make sure not to delete my chain. 
and I'm just going to leave those pieces that I want to keep the same in there. And I'm going to connect it to that one. See how they go straight across. So when I window move that, I'm going to near point that piece right there that I left on the left side. You'll see it just a second window image. Near point right there. And you see I'm going to line it up to that point. Near point again. So now we're right where we were. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Trim, fillet, uh, LISA, make new lines, object break things, line everything up. Now I'm going to do my chain and object break all those pieces. Again, trim. Oh, right there is where I went back and refixed those V lines because they were a little wonky. Trimming, filleting. Just takes a little bit of time. If you got tiny pieces like those right there, I just delete those because they'll probably blow out and sandblast. And then sometimes the pieces are just big enough that they might stay, but if they blow out, it's not going to be a big deal. So go back. Window changing WG, changing all my colors. I'm going to move point and near point these lines to line up on the other side like they're supposed to. And then we're going to zoom back again. WG window change. Change our colors. And we're all done. So I hope this was helpful. Lots of commands to go into, but you need to know them. See you guys next time. Bye.